If you're so uncultured you're unaware, let me tell you that next year marks the 30th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog. Ever since 2001, Sega has been absolute giga chads when it comes to Sonic marketing and anniversaries. First with the 10th anniversary we got Sonic Adventure 2, one of if not considered the greatest Sonic game ever made. Then for the 15th anniversary we got ah! But then, oh, we got the 20th anniversary. Jazzwares was probably even bigger giga chads with this. We got the absolute historical Sonic 3 timeline. We got modern, classic, hell we even got badnik and enemy characters which at that point were so awesome. Now I have a little bit of a story with the 20th anniversary and that being the story of my first ever Sonic figure. So I was six years old in the year of 2011 and I had just gotten my entire mouth reconstructed at the dentist. I had to get knocked out and everything. It was great. But for being such a big boy my parents let me go pick out a toy at Kmart and when we walked down the toy aisle I immediately saw the Jazzwares 5 inch classic Sonic. That was the first thing I saw and was gravitating towards it and then I threw up in the aisle. Now I'm not gonna say we grabbed the Sonic, ran out, and left it for some underpaid teenager to clean up, but I won't deny it either, and I still have him to this day. Hell yeah. And then in 2016, Tony finally broke out of Sonic Boom and made classic stuff for the 25th anniversary. They made the widely praised Sonic 25th anniversary figure and plush lines. The figure line had amazing figures of Sonic Tails and Knuckles, and they made plushes of Sonic Tails, Knuckles, and Eggman. These were all super high quality and were widely praised, and now have become pretty pricey. I mean, I have the 25th anniversary 3-pack of collector's edition figures, which has metallic versions of all three characters and exclusive coins, and I was able to snag that just a couple weeks before I'm recording this in the year 2020 for just about 30 bucks on Mercari, and I was able to get this sample prototype of the Sonic plush from an eBay seller in China. But now we're in the year of 2020, and the 30th anniversary looms upon us all. So I had the idea of making a pitch for 30th anniversary merchandise, more specifically Jack-specific action figures of the 30th anniversary. So without any further Further ado, let's go. So earlier in the year, Jack Specific released both waves of Sonic articulated action figures. Mine haven't arrived in the mail yet because Entertainment Earth decided to move my pre-order to October when it was going to be September when I ordered it, what the hell. But from what I've seen, they are super high quality and awesome. Of course, when I'm editing this video, look who showed up! So today, I'm going to make a full line of those for 30th Anniversary Merchandise. The 30th Anniversary line will contain nothing but three packs of each and every Sonic game ever made with a few bonus packs I've added on, but we'll get to those later. Here's the packaging I've created. This packaging will let you clearly see the figures through some plastic, and would also have some overlaying cardboard, replicating the Sonic 2 level transitions. These will all be scaled with their 4 inch line, and let's start out with Sonic 1. For Sonic 1, we have your basic classic Sonic figure, as well as Robotnik, and three of the animal bodies from Sonic 1, being Flicky, Pecky, and Picky. And notice how on the left there's a bit of cardboard covering up part of the inside? Well, that's because each and every one of these three packs contains a piece that would go to a scaled Death Egg robot. So if you buy all the packs, you can build your own Death Egg robot. I really hope we can get something like this, it would be so cool. Oh yeah, and here's a disclaimer. I know barely any of this is possible. There's going to be some radical character choices later on, and I just want a disclaimer so nobody can go into the comments and go, Ew, you can't put Sonic in your pit. Now we go on to Sonic 2, with Mecha Sonic, a variant Sonic who is looking to the left, and of course Tails. Now on to Sonic CD, we have Metal Sonic, Classic Amy, and another Sonic who's in a running pose. On to Sonic 3 and Knuckles, we have an Egg Robo, Knuckles, and our first super radical character, Hyper Sonic. Again, I know it's not possible. Mr. Naka, can we put the Hyper Emeralds in? No! Now we go on to everyone's favorite, Sonic 3D Blast. Instead of a character, we have four different flickies from the game, as well as a new Sonic who can, like, point or something, I don't know, and a variant grinning Robotnik. Now we go on to Sonic Adventure where we have Sonic who's doing his iconic grin from that era, as well as figures of Tikal and Chaos. I think this Chaos could be super cool. They could even make him translucent or something. On to SA2, we have Sonic who of course has his iconic soap shoes, as well as a Shadow and a Hero, Dark and Neutral Chow to be scaled with the others. Now, Sonic Heroes was a little tricky considering there's so many characters, I had to narrow down my choices, but I decided to go with the Sonic who's in this pose to replicate the box art, as well as Neo Metal Sonic who would have an actual felt made cape. Who would be awesome? And then an Egg Robo with his jousting spear and shield. Now we go on to Shadow the Hedgehog. We would have Shadow who, of course, is holding a Glock, and then a Doom's Eye who would have a little stand for him to stand up next to Shadow. And the reason he's so tiny compared to the others is because you have to have a huge figure, which is Black Doom, and he could also have a stand. Now we go on 
on to Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. We have a Sonic who can be pointing like in this artwork, as well as a figure of Mephiles, which would be absolutely sick. And because I'm an absolute madman, a figure of Princess Elise, because why not? On to Sonic and the Secret Rings, we would have Sonic who has his flame and ring from the game, as well as Shara and a Razor Jin. And now we go on to my personal favorite, Sonic Unleashed. Unleashed on the Wii was the first Sonic game I've ever played, so I have a super special connection with this boy right here. We would of course have a figure of Sonic the Werehog, who, and I don't know if this would work or not, but what if he were to have actual stretchy limbs made out of rubber or something? That would be awesome. And then he would also have Chip, of course. But the third character would be my absolute man, Professor Pickle himself. This is probably my most radical choice in this whole video, but I mean, come on, I had to put my boy Pickle in here. But I fully understand why Jax wouldn't make a Professor Pickle figure. If there was a physical incarnation of Professor Pickle in this world, a black hole would probably emerge and destroy everything. Now we go on to my second personal favorite, Sonic and the Black Knight. You've gotta have Sonic with the gauntlet and Caliburn, as well as Sir Lancelot. And could you imagine how cool a Dark Queen figure would be? That would be sick. On to Sonic Colors, there's only one real figure in here, that being Sonic, but that's because he comes with all eight wisps from the game, and they would all have stands to stand alongside Sonic. And the Sonic might have holes or something in his hand so he can hold them. I don't know, just a thought. Now we go to Generations, which I was having a tough time here, but I decided to have two Sonics that are in the poses on screen, so that they can pose well together on display. And because I haven't included them yet, we can just have all seven Chaos Emeralds. Now to Lost World, we have Zavik and Zaz. Zaz would be really cool because we don't have any figures of him. Zavik at least got this Tony figure that's extremely rare and expensive now. But Sonic here would have aura around his feet to replicate the running animation from the game. That would be awesome. Now here's where we hit an interesting case. Sonic Boom. It's been basically confirmed now that Boom's dead, and we're not getting any more stuff based off of it, besides the odd re-release here and there. But yeah, Boom's basically gone. But you know what? I said, screw it. I decided to make a six-pack based off of all the characters from Sonic Boom, that being Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Sticks, and Eggman. I know this would probably sell really poorly, and Sega would never consider it ever, but I mean, screw it, why not? Now we go on to one that I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love, Sonic Mania. This pack would include a Sonic, which is based off the pose from the game, as well as figures of the Heavy King and Heavy Gunner. These would be absolutely sick, and I hope that this can be an actual thing one day. And now we go on to Sonic Force. <laughs> Here we have a Sonic who has his pissed off look from the game, kind of, as well as Infinite. He can have a metallic mask, a translucent phantom ruby, and everything. Now here's where we get to one interesting case, the Avatar. I decided just to go with the standard look that's in most of the trailers, and I guess is the canonical look of him. So yeah, Red Wolf Boy. Yeah, and give him a Wispin too, that'll be good. And that's it. Those are all the mainline Sonic games. But I have a few extras I've cooked up. First, we got the Sonic Riders 2 pack. This is a pack that would have Sonic in his Riders design, and Jet, and they would both have their extreme gear. And maybe the extreme gear could have wheels like the Jazzwares ones. And now we get to Sonic Rush. I wanted to make one of Rush just so I could make figures of Blaze, Cream, and Cheese, so yeah. Oh, and um, Sonic can... I don't know, Sonic can piss off. And now here is my all-time personal favorite, I'm kidding, sorry Pickle, don't fight me. But yeah, this is by far what I think to be the best one I made. I propose we could have a three-pack based off the IDW Sonic comics. It would be a three-pack containing Tangle, Whisper, and Dr. Starline, Warp Topaz and all. Now this may seem insane, but it doesn't matter because I'm insane. We've had IDW characters in quite a few things recently. I mean, the obvious example is Dash and Force of Speed Battle where they added Tangle and Whisper as playable characters, but I think Sega's actually starting to realize that people actually care about the comics. But even if this doesn't happen for the 30th anniversary, I feel like we might actually someday get figures of IDW characters. And Tangle can be like the Werehog, and her tail can be stretchy, by the way. And that's it. Those are all the packs I created. Sonic anniversaries have always been awesome, so I hope we can get some cool stuff for the 30th. I mean, the Red Demon got something that everyone was asking for for years for his 30th, so why can't Sonic Sega? So yeah, thanks for listening to me rambling on about plastic. Bye!